Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. Open conversation, whatever they want to talk about, whatever they want to say, whatever the cards bring out, that's what we'll be talking about. Let's jump in, let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Sagittarius this week. Guys, y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If that doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out, see if I was able to pick up the energy there. Ooh, we got one faced up. <laughs> one faced up. Let's read it, because sometimes that happens for a reason. Nothing solid. I can't offer you anything solid right now. P please be patient. Ew. That might be a message for someone, confirmation for someone. Let's put it back in. Let's keep going here. I'm going to ask your person to show me the energy between the two of you with this deck. Also, first person and second person's energy. Just keep in mind, it's from their perspective. It's how they see things, not necessarily how you see things. This is for my Sagittarius. Their person. Oh. Let's jump in. Energy between us, please. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Energy between us. Sagittarius is person. Ooh, pop. We've got work. I'm focusing on work to have more financial stability. Ooh. Guys, that's the energy between us. From your person's perspective, they feel like you're both bringing this type of energy into the connection. So it would be in play and we're both uh, working on financial stability right now. First person's energy. Ooh, pop. That was quick. Awakened love. Now I know and understand that I, I, I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. Ooh, guys, I like that first person's energy. Let's do second person's energy. Second, oh, pops on the, oh, we're going to get two. One on the bottom. Secret admirer. I'm not ready to reveal my true feelings for you. What else? Attraction. You're so beautiful. I get butterflies when I see you. Oh my goodness. Guys, the energy between us. Hold the energy on this deck. Energy between us is bringing in work. The big thing. Uh, that is the key word. This is insinuating somehow we work together. Mm -hmm. And that there's a big time attraction a big time awakening of feelings and attraction chemistry towards each other i feel like it's more than just the magnetic attraction you know the physical attraction there's feelings activating especially over here for first person's energy Ooh, falling in love at work or either you know something that has to do with work Let's jump in to the tarot. We're using uh, Tarot Grand Lux. It's one of Ciro Marchetti's decks. Y'all know he's one of my most favorite creators for tarot and oracles. Let's get your person talking on first person's energy. Awakened love. Sagittarius. I want to be Sagittarius this week. Can I be Sagittarius? I can follow love too. Yes, we've got, oh, <laughs> straight off the bat, somebody that is uh, feeling a little bit defeated, lacking some confidence. Sometimes this card will show up when other people disarm us with words and make us feel really small and like we're lacking confidence. Yeah, not important. So, mm, hang on to it for a minute. The first the first thing I'm getting off of this is somebody does worry about what other people think of them and say about them. And they may have major stress. It could be in work, any area of their life where somebody is actually disarming them, making them feel like shit poo-poo about their self. Ooh, what else we got? Oh, we got the Empress energy. That's a glow-up uh, energy. The abundance. She brings life to everything she encounters. Yes. She amplifies. Let's see what she's amplifying. Show me what she's amplifying, please. What do you mean with our Empress energy? Pop. 
Oh, a two of wands energy wanting to move forward at a standstill energy reevaluating things. She's amplifying somebody trying to make a decision. They on fire. They on fire about something. Let's find out what they're on fire about. That ace of wands brings in passion, but sometimes it can be uh, igniting, you know, the fury kind of emotions. Let's see what what is that's about. What fire has been ignited? Magician card manifesting. Confidence to manifest. What else are we getting? We're getting three here. Uh, th this person has been at a page of pentacle standstill energy, lacking confidence, wanting seeing something clearly. We've got Queen of Coins, Capricorn energy. Hold on to her. And sudden change. Ooh, obstacles have been removed. Divine intervention. Guys, the fact that uh, when I pull these out and put these two together, this is saying somebody that has been literally cutting this person down in life. Big influence. Um, now, either this person has, you know, uh, a spouse or something where there's children involved or is bringing in... Uh, a mothering kind of figure into this person's life. Mother, something like that. But they've been cut down for a really long time. Lacking confidence. They've been, with this one, they would, this is our young emperor energy. Uh, where he's standing in, in a paused mode. Evaluating and reevaluating moving forward. But he sometimes can get stuck for the lack of confidence to move forward with that too. This person's on fire. They're feeling more confident that they can actually manifest what, what they want. They're seeing things a little bit more clear because this is more of a standstill energy till I get whatever it is holding me back out of the way. Divine intervention. So this person has been cut down. They have a lack of confidence. What's on the bottom of the deck? Ow, they are now seeing a vision. <laughs> This is King of Cups energy, Scorpio energy. He's our visionary in one one of our visionaries in the tarot. Uh, he th would have this person would be feeling more emotionally mature about things. They're not triggered as easy, but they got the vision of where they want to go and the confidence to go. Yes, what's up under it? Ow, oh, anxiety, needless stress, anxiety, and worry. A lot of times, Nine of Swords will represent a, you needlessly obsessing, stressing over something. This person is coming away from that. And when we have our page of wands, I love this, two visionaries. This person is now what they wanted in the past to move forward, what they truly desired to manifest. That magician in their life had been hindered by somebody that's causing uncertainty about the future. This is our other visionary. These are our two visionaries, but this is the youthful visionary energy where you're standing and there's uncertainty. You're you're in that little bit of paused mode, lack of, a little bit of lack of confidence. I'm not quite sure what it is I want. I want this, but is it possible? This one is when you stand in, I know it's possible and I'm going to manifest it. Yes, I love this. So this person is definitely coming away from uh, an energy, an, ooh, a cold energy. <laughs> Libra showing up. Yes, Sagittarius. This is our cold queen. Yeah, uh, that analyzes everything. In her shadow, she can cut you up with that sword, with her words and her thoughts. Mm -hmm. So this person is definitely coming away from a negative influence. They woke up to realize all that obsessing, all that triggered thoughts, the anxiety, the, you know, the negative thoughts that whoever this is representing for them uh, represents, they're coming away from it because they're like, it is needless. I know how I, I know I can have what I want. They're building confidence. What's behind that queen of swords? Let's look. Hmm. Restrictive energy. Feeling trapped and stuck. Ooh. Like that. Let's put these cards back in, guys. So, this person is telling me a lot over here. They've been lacking confidence for a while. Probably in every area of their life, they've had an influence that amplifies that energy. And, you know, 
pulling it's a you know uh, what is it energy vampire that just sucks it out of them and makes them feel like they they stupid and inadequate and lacking all the time somebody that just zaps this person's confidence they're coming away from that and they got the vision of what they want mm. before we go on sag let's ask real quick let's ask them what they're vision is what are they seeing what's the vision patience and willing to step in and nurture some energy is a frustrating energy to take a leap of faith oh they're willing to invest some time and energy into what it is that they want coming away from lack mentality there's something that they've been holding back an opportunity five of coins is anxiety card when it comes to emotions but it's a card of where you pass up opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. For whatever reason, you just won't allow yourself to do it. This person is allowing their self the opportunity that's available to them. They're standing in truth now. Truth and balance. Mm-hmm. Ah, truth and balance. They've overcome that cold, cold, clean energy. And guys, that don't just represent it, it, it just because it's a queen, don't assume that means it's a female. This could actually be representing a male energy. Yeah, <laughs> a guy energy that has been um, the main nurturer or main importance or main influence in this person's life and and it's not been a good influence it, it's been a restrictive one and they're freeing herself they're not hearing it no more even though this is feeling trapped and things like that on the positive side of it we're told to blindfold ourselves and muffle your ears with that big blindfold so that outside influences other people's opinions don't sway you in your way of thinking in the direction you're going this person is definitely feeling good about their future world card on the bottom they are tying up loose ends and transitioning into a new phase of their life yes i like that so their vision they're not really sharing specifics about their vision they're sharing more of their feelings about moving forward with us which is extremely confident right now feeling good about things and sure about things they've got some confidence moving forward in their life probably every area of their life let's get on to talk on the work the energy between us let's see what's coming out on that one sagittarius it will pop on the bottom got a ruling factor the emperor so we definitely may be working together mm-hmm What's rolling? Ow, vision, king of cups, energy, truth, happiness, clarity, healing. I'll say we got a visionary again. Ten of cups, energy. Ten of cups, energy. Oh, I love this. So, this brings in, I'm focusing on work to have more financial stability. Every one of these cards is saying that's a priority in my life. The vision in, in my life is to have that financial stability, to feel confident. Because uh, we got our visionary again. To stand in that happiness, that truth, and that healing. And a Ten of Cups energy. It's been a long time coming. Get Trying to get my heaven on earth. Yes. Ooh, let's get them talking over here on this person's energy. Ooh, not ready to reveal my feelings just yet. Ooh, in the attraction. Ow, so got somebody over here with some a little bit of heartache going on and sorrow. Worried about getting hurt. Karma card. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. And they are emotionally vulnerable with a page of cups energy. Extremely emotionally vulnerable. For some of us, even though it's not the Six of Cups energy, sometimes that will pop out for me when there's children involved. That may not be for all of us, though. And somebody is definitely leaving their past behind. They've made also made major sacrifices in life. And the things they've held their self back with that they made a priority and obligation are no longer important to them in the choices they're making because they're going in a different direction. 
So we definitely got somebody, the likeness that we would be standing in is this person is hurt. They've had a lot of heartache and sorrow. Feeling insecure. What we got on the bottom? Double card. Freeing herself from inner demons. Capricorn energy. So, yeah. And this person over here, I'm not quite sure if it's what they're coming away from. What's being represented by that Queen of Swords is actually a romantic relationship or if it's simply just, you know, a family, something, some kind of influence like that, a different kind of relationship. But nonetheless, one that held, held sway and importance over them, so. But we're definitely going through a healing process and from what it's saying, we're both focusing in on, we've got the same goal, financial stability, confidence, and to move forward. And to free ourselves from that Capricorn devil inner demon energy, also outer demon energy sometimes. And we've got our rebirth card, the Phoenix energy of reinventing ourselves, going through that phase in our life. And then we have... Uh, four swords, rest, recuperation, recovery, healing, and getting the clarity that we need, getting our bearings, and then we have faith, for, oh, faith, Taurus energy, stability, security, faith for the future. Mm -hmm. Both going through some introspections, feeling a little bit challenged when it comes to um, communications a little bit we might be a little bit in private mode with that four of swords energy we pulled and we are building slowly going through a healing process uh, virgo knight of pentacles when that one comes up it's slow moving energy but guys it's moving with confidence and it brings in everyday life your everyday life routine is changing up you're making healthy choices and habits for yourself you're rebuilding Ooh, love that. Sagittarius. Let's hold the energy on this deck. We get it shuffled up for our next round. Here we go. Hold the energy for my Sag. Let's get on talking. Coming in on that Five of Swords. I'm I'm tired of being played. Mm, somebody feels like they've been played a lot in life. Manipulated is what I'm hearing. Not played. Manipulated. Healing, going through the healing process. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for the perfect opportunity. I'm trying to create the perfect opportunity. What else? I always feel like I'm getting ready to lose you. Haven't have what I'm hearing with this one is I have a, issues. I worry about being abandoned. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and they also mm, they also worry the guilt feelings of it's hard for them to walk away because they feel like they're abandoning someone. Very sensitive person here. They don't want to do to others what they fear their self. Abandonment issues. Wishful thinking. Let's come in into the energy between us and let them talk there. We've got confirmation for someone. May, Taurus, and Gemini. We've had both those energies pop out. The hair pump for the Taurus and the night. Uh, for Gemini, I would give anything, anything to hold you. I would give anything to hold you. Ooh. The thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. You don't even want to think about it. Oh, we're getting two. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Attitude of gratitude. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. What did I just hear? I don't blame you. It's almost like, I don't blame you if you don't want nothing to do with me. I'm a little bit messed up right now. That's what I'm hearing. I dream of a future with you. I'm dreaming about you. I can feel our connection getting stronger and stronger. Uh-oh. Yes. Let's come over here and let them talk on second person's energy. The one's going through some heartache and sorrow. I'm worried that you've moved on and that you don't want me anymore. The thought of others having to depend on me really frightens me. Mm -hmm. Money problems, having money problems. Here I go. I said I would never fall again. Those feelings. Mm -hmm. Take a chance. I want to take a chance. Here's another one. No one has ever believed in me the way that you do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That might be what's give this person over here confidence or maybe 
that's something we mirror in. <clears throat> Believing in each other. Let's rotate the message decks so I know which side to pull from. Let's go back to the tarot. Let's go ahead and ask the question. What was the most important thing that needed to be said in this conversation? The most important thing. And what am I hearing? The work. The work, the confidence, the focus in on future, the stability of the future. Getting on my own two feet, standing confident. That seems to be what the most important thing that needed to be heard. What else? Sagittarius is person. Anything else you want to bring out? Ooh, pop. Ooh, getting quite a few. Let's pull them out. What are they saying? Oh, Valor, card of Valor, block and protect right now. What's precious to you? <laughs> eight of Wands, ooh, seven and eight of Wands, things are moving fast. And page of pentacles or coins. Ooh, okay, so things may feel like they're moving fast. This person would be saying we need to take things a little bit slower. I still have to perfect this vision of me going forward build my confidence our babe you know like i said page of pentacles stands outside the love arena and says i can't get in yet i'm not ready i'm not sure about things so somebody is very much in a protective mode let's find out what that's about seven of wands Ooh, pop queen of my heart cancer energy Ooh, and the stability oh Guys, this person is very protective of their heart. They don't want to get into a connection. My guides will always pull these two when it's a perfect match. A match that syncs together. There's differences, yeah. But each difference, um, each strength that each one has complements the other one. Mm -hmm. Like he'll have a weakness and it'll be her strength. And she'll have a weakness, but it'll be his strength. And they, they click together. It's a non fric very little friction energy. Soulmate, unbelievable. Twin flame, soulmate, high level. So this person is wanting to take things slow. They are very cautious because they. this is the only kind of relationship they want to be in. One where the energies complement, where you can trust each other, you got each other's back, and they're thinking out lifetime long term. Mm hmm So they want to take things slow. And then they, they're going to go extra slow to make sure it's real. It's the real deal. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else. Ooh, amplifying my wishes. Yes. This person is definitely, because we got our empress again, bringing in the gold, the glow up, the abundance of what? Of what they're wishing for. And what they're wishing for is... Ooh, look, two of cups energy. The equal give and take in a in connection. Romance, the full deal. Mm, I love that. Two of cups energy. They don't want any regrets. Mm -hmm. Do have abandonment issues, guys. They, they really do, whoever I'm talking to. And then healing, rest, recuperation, clarity. But also being able to sort my thoughts. A lot of times when this card comes up, I call it being in private mode. And that seems to be what this person, who, which, you know, I, maybe the first person over here I'm talking to, when I ask them to clarify their vision, uh, they may be in that four of swords energy of healing, getting the clarity, uh, detailing what that vision is. And that may be why they're not able to share their thoughts and feelings on it yet because they don't know for sure yet. They're finding out. It's the process. Let's get them talking again, Sag. Let's come in on that card of valor. Block and protect. We got a confirmation for someone. August, Leo Virgo energy. Ooh. I need someone to hold me. Not squeeze the life out of me. Uh-oh. Oh. They're telling us what they need in their life. Got another confirmation for someone. October. Libra, Scorpio, Sag, getting confirmations, I said I was sorry, can we at least be friends, hmm, that may not be for all of us, but I get a feeling that, uh, I get a feeling this person wants to slow down, 
They don't want to jump into nothing too quick, nothing serious too quick, because they need a time. Let's be friends first. Take it slow. I have never opened myself up to anyone like I have with you. Mm -hmm. How much do I mean to you? I need time to, to, <laughs> to know this. How much do you mean to me and how much do I mean to you? Let's get them over here on the center energy. Let's slow the momentum down. You rejected me. It still hurts. That seems to be, a, a, it almost feels like an echo something echoing. Because I got a feeling as one of us wanted to go ahead and get into this connection and, and you know, take it to a next level. And the other person, it scared the other person. They're like, no, can we, let's just be friends first. We got to slow things down because it scared them. And it, I'm hearing it as if somebody is like, upset about feeling rejected even though it wasn't a total rejection it wasn't a rejection i'm not in a good place mentally and financially it wasn't <laughs> look guys they, they run it back through my brain it wasn't a rejection it was we need to slow down this is scaring me we need to slow down i, I don't want to lose you can we at least be friends just for keep it at friend level just for a minute or two? What the hell are you waiting for? Uh oh, <laughs> there we go. What the hell are you waiting for? I'm scared to death. I want you so badly it hurts, but there are too many reasons why I shouldn't. I'm hearing on that one the reasons have nothing to do with the other person, it has everything to do with them. I feel your tears. Don't mean to hurt your feelings. Let's push them over to the page of coins or babe that says, give me a minute to get confidence and clarity about what we're doing. The negative thoughts are only making it worse. Yep. Oh, Sag, I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want this to end. Yep. I just want to hold you. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I'm hearing I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's get them to focus in on the deck. They want to give you final messages from... It's from my Sagittarius. My Sagittarius. Ooh, guys. Really? They going... Ooh, they going heavy on us. We got the flying hearts. It's the light side of the heart of the phoenix deck. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Let's go with it. Get that one more time, guys. It didn't feel right. There we go. Better. Talk to us. I almost want, I'm almost blushing. I can feel my face heating up. Ooh, your person's energy is like, whoa, wait. <laughs> you excite me in ways I never thought possible. It blows my mind to think you actually love me. Sexual attraction. I can't hold back anymore. Let's play. I check your social media all the time. You're so beautiful. I don't know what you see in me. I wish you were mine. Wish I could trust that. My body trembles just thinking about you. It's hard to fight my cravings for you. Last one, guys. My feelings for you are growing, but I'm afraid to show it. I'm listening way too much to my head rather than my heart. Oh, Sagittarius. Guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Let's be.